How do you solve the world's problems in a day? You don't. You just solve your own. And maybe by that, you make the world a little better place. Your world, your family, your community, your society, your city, your province, your state, your country, your nation, maybe the whole world. Maybe it ripples out. It does, as it ripples in. If you're in the hole, it comes down on you. You gotta get out of the hole and have it ripple out. I guess that's how you get out of trouble. Here we are today, vlog number 19. Wondering, how can we make the world a better place? You know? I wish we could just fix things by the snap of our finger. Today, the world seems in trouble. Double that bubble with worries of war and more conflict and crisis, chaos and confusion and the illusion of control or the delusion of the whole war money machines. I feel like it's all a bad dream. You know what I mean? Wouldn't it be nice if we could just fix the world by snapping our fingers Mary Poppins style? Although she did tell us to have a spoonful of sugar to help the medicine go down and we know that can't be true because sugar is not good for you. But these vaccines are. Here, have them with a donut. Snap in the world's problems away. Snip, snap, snip, snap. Wouldn't that be nice? Certainly many people think that just by snapping at people and snapping their bad attitudes, they can get whatever they demand. I want this. I want this. Pay attention to me. Pay attention to me. I'm crying. I'm sad. I'm mad. Shut up. <laughs> I don't mean to cancel culture, but it is a really weird, weird thing. Certainly many people think just by snapping at people and snapping their bad attitudes, they can get whatever they demand. The brand of woke culture is a creeping, sleeping culture. The kind that starts in a lab as a petri dish and then goes missing and shows up at a wet market. But marketing woke culture is a creature in vulture. And I shall remind you that vultures dine on the dying and dead. And in fact, they prefer rotting flesh over any defending dying last breath. That sounds a lot like woke culture, as they frame free speech as some far-right conspiracy, when it's actually the foundation of all great nations and civilization itself. Woke culture has broke images of endless victims and racial divides between all sides, as it abides to abuse and overuse of equity as some moral justification of judication based on race and color. What are we, crayons? The only way to value people is to treat them based on the content of their character, the quality of their humanity, not the equality of their vanity and the equity of their ebony to ivory melanin mix and ratio. As the golden ratio is the flower of life and we all spring forth from its eternal spiral. And any opposition to this proposition is viral to us and the virus is among us. If we continue to erode our culture, we will all be devoured in the disintegration of all civilization. Broke and woke and choking on your own feelings that matter more than the truth. A generation of victims suffering from mental health, illness of anxiety, emerging climate emergencies that with your urgency need soup thrown on historical paintings. Yes, priceless pieces of art are the problem and Andy Warhol would be tickled Campbell's soup tomato red by how just dreadfully dumb the logic of the artifacts under Art Attack are supposed to just stop oil, let alone just stop anything. The temper tantrums by people with too much idle time and all thumbs doom scrolling or trolling the culture of civilization to bring about their dying needs to feed us all fake meat because it's the cows and the oil and art and the cars that are causing all their sleepless nights. The dwindling population of polar bears are daring more activists to protest their own people while all the pandas in the world are owned by China. China owns the pandas and the South China tiger and your protest for vegans to just stop oil while wearing polyester and plastic covered yoga pants by Lululemon soaked in forever chemicals with your blue hair dye only tested on your own people just like the vaccines who are all pushing the world to a further divide and destroying all sides. All your woke crying is propaganda lying to you. You're uneducated and uninformed and reformed by masters of propaganda and programming. And you're being used as pawns on the lawn of kings who yawn at your soup cans and hand-painted flags waving signs that what lives matter and which ones don't.
they won't make a difference, nor will you, because there's more to this than you can do or bring or sing about any change. Truth is, all the carbon you cry about is not even in this country. Make no mistake, you are mistaken. It's not about the stakes making the world full of farts. Those emissions pale like a guppy to a whale in comparison because the greatest emissions are issues of faraway lands under communist commands and hands, China, Asia, and Latin America. These places are full of poor people being pushed around by their captors and masters who will do anything to not die, to not be poor, as the rulers do everything to keep the control. While corporate elites cheat the entire world in systemic corruption and oppression by the lesson of prosperity, ah, money, starving and disease versus power and cheese. These are the keys to your captive imprisonment. The government are corporations under the name of nations, all in land, hand and money grab for power. Their self, their wealth, their people means their power is the ivory tower is not only in just full of white privileged men, we can't blame them for everything. It's far bigger and deeper and rooted in history. It's about power, money, commodity, and control. They don't care about your oil soup art or your political heart or confused beliefs. You are tools being used for their agenda. You are fools being pulled into a prison state because of feelings of hate. It's not the other people. We all share the same fate. It's the weight of the states and the evil they create because they don't care. They only wear smiles and suits to seem clean and genuine when they are genuinely, ingeniously ingenuine. No amount of your unscientific count or carbon this or emissions that will make any difference in the climate of the world or war or crisis or Hamas or ISIS. These are all devices to keep you sheep in a heap and on the slippery slope that's steep and forever weak. The only way to forge forward is to afford a pen for your sword and make words be heard, not silenced, not muted, not booted offline, not some soup can design or mastermind behind the oil that will spoil the Mona Lisa covered in Campbell's. Nobody cares, but dare to be self-aware, dare to share your thoughts, not to be shamed or blamed or named or some conspiracy theorist or bigot or racist or baseless, nameless nonsense to act as a detractor. That's an anti-vaxxer. While your pro-life or pro-choice voice becomes just noise, get some poise intact and act in harmony of understanding the vibrations we need is not war and bleed, not heed more sore and score for your wars or your die and I cry because my pronouns were a problem for you to see as my truth. The real truth is we need to work together. We need to do better. We need to know it's okay to not see or stand eye to eye, but still shoulder to shoulder. And we need to request the older elders for their historical knowledge and perhaps release the woke chokehold of the college. And we need to concede, two genders breed, but all people bleed. War will never heed peace, and for humanity, we must cease fire and not fan the flames, calling names, appointing politicians and blames. We must regain control by first getting in touch with our soul and soil, sun, earth, water, air, because we care. It's not about the oil. The pot is near boil and it's hot in the war they toil. We need to step back and not attack. We need to relax and not over vax. We need to allow life to grow and light to show and know if we act intact in love and light, and are calm, we can stop the bomb and bring about a new you. You are not a victim. You are not triggered. You are not woke. You are not broken. We are creators, shapers of the wheel, and real dreams of destiny. And we must invest in the best of we and search out the good in this world and unfurl a new hope, a new scope, a new way to see we are the same, not so different you and me. And we all want to live, love, and be free. And if we work in cohesion, we might see a new season for spiritual and virtual growth. And maybe someday, in some way, things will be all right. Thank you. Stay light. Be bright. Good day. Good night.